July is National Ice Cream Month, and our next guest has built a thriving business one scoop at a time. I love that. Mm -hmm. Here with hot frozen flavors that will keep you cool this summer is Ample Hills Creamery founder Brian Smith. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Okay. How are you? So we've nice got to talk about your company. Well, first yeah. of all, congratulations. Thank you very it's, much. And your story is incredible. You opened this three years ago. Yeah. Expected it to do well, but not that well. Not you sold really. out in the first week, <laughs> didn't have enough we were, staff, had to yeah. close down and yeah. re-up on yeah. ice cream and staff. Yeah. Okay, tell I mean, us more. Well, we were wholly unprepared for success. <laughs> we, my wife and I had been wholly prepared for failure. We had already figured out where we were going to go and live, with whose parents we were going to stay at when, when, when the business bellied up. But uh, what we hadn't really planned on was what if there are lines right when we open? What if we, we have to make more ice cream than we can physically do? I was the one making every last scoop of ice cream. I was the one making every last homemade cone. So we just didn't, I, we weren't prepared for the people that came. And once we started getting some publicity after the first day or two, by the fourth day, we had run out from 24 flavors down to four flavors. Wow. And so we had to close the door. And it was, it sounds fun in retrospect. At the time, of course, it was so anxiety producing because you don't know if you're closing down if people are going to come back when you reopen. Well, how did you regroup? I mean, what so did you have to do to regroup? Nine days, doubled the staff, hired and trained everybody. It was, you know, it had taken us three months to open and then nine days to uh, totally reinvent ourselves and sort of proclaim that we wouldn't sell out again. And, and uh, we did. And luckily, while we were there in those days, the New York Times walked in and said, hey, can we write an article about how successful you were the first four days? Wow. And that helped make sure that when we reopened, and people came back and gave us another shot. So, well, so the, what's your secret yes. ingredient? Is it crack? What do you put in there? <laughs> yes, exactly. We did bring some crack yes. here. Those are saltine crackers. Salt you know. <laughs> there you go. Um, but uh, no. Uh, Get uh, your ice cold crack. That's right. That's no. right. So they, we, uh, what is, today what we're going to make a sundae. I brought uh, three flavors, so I'll let you decide what kind of sundae well, you we want. Well, let's talk all. about the right, flavors. Well, what, are the, what are the options? So right now, we just opened up a new shop in Gowanus neighborhood of Brooklyn, where there's the Gowanus Canal, which is a fetid... Uh, super fun site. It's a polluted canal that is being worked on. And so we decided, my background is writing old sci-fi monster movies. Yes. And so uh, we came up with this flavor called It Came From Gowanus, which is a take on the old 50s uh, gotcha. movie It Came From Outer Space. Yes. So this is a salted, dark chocolate fudge ice cream with these hazelnut crack cookies that we make there. There's a jandouille paste and hazelnut and saltine crackers and butter and sugar. And then there's also a Grand Marnier scented brown in there. So that's really decadent Delicious. over the top and deep. This is a brown sugar cinnamon ice cream oh. with uh, oatmeal cookies in it. It's named oh. after my wife's mother. It's Nona D's oatmeal lace. Yes. And this one's for the kid and all of us. This is a, a marshmallow ice cream. It's basically oh. a deconstructed Rice Krispie treat. Yes. We take uh, Rice Krispies, cook them in butter and sugar, mix them into a melted marshmallow ice cream. So the ice cream itself tastes like marshmallows. So we're always trying to play with our sort of childhood and try to make flavors at Ample Hills that, you know. It well, I love delicious. the nostalgia. Yeah. What's uh, your favorite? My favorite right now is probably this. It's called Snap Mallow Pop. So, Snap you know, Mallow yeah. Pop. That's so <laughs> cute. cute. Yeah. Um, Wait, and so, how do you work in the ice cream business and remain this lean? Well, how does most, that work? <laughs> mostly it's because I'm standing all day long oh, carrying 50-pound bags of sugar around. And, and it's funny because when I was a writer, I would sit and eat pints of ice cream, and I was heavier. Yes. And, and once I opened the ice cream shop, I probably lost about 20 pounds because of, the I think, the anxiety of running a shop. And, and you're making and this around. ice cream in the shop. In the shop, in Gowanus, uh, every day. So right as, now, as a customer, we can, you can see. see it. Yeah, we have really? beautiful glass windows. Those. And that was part of our whole idea was to invite people into the narrative of, of how we make ice cream. And so that, so that it's more than just going and getting a scoop of ice cream. It's about creating a place that uh, you want to pass the time. You know, yeah. That was what we were looking for. All right. So can you mix us up something? Yeah. So we've got these three flavors of ice cream. Mm -hmm. Any preferences? This, this here, I'll tell you, is uh, our ooey gooey butter cake. It's a St. Louis tradition. Butter yes, cake. It's, it's butter, it cream of? cheese powdered sugar. I mean, it's just evil. And Ooh. so we lay this on the bottom of a sundae and warm that up, and then we put whatever flavor of ice cream you want. Now, Lola and I committed to be down with the swirl. I like chocolate. Okay. She likes vanilla, so maybe we can pull All right, do a little of each I of these. I want this middle one. Or the brown right, sugar. Right, right, okay, right, then all right. three. How about I want we the put Nona. All three yes. of them on here. All right, so a we'll taste just, of mother-in-law. We'll, mother -in we'll just... Uh, all right. Yeah, we'll just do a little bit of all three all of them. All right. And uh, then we brought some of our toppings. We make everything from scratch at the shop, so we 
we make our hot fudge, we make our wow. caramel, and we try to, it just, it makes it more fun. It keeps me excited so every day. So are you day. the most popular man <laughs> in the neighborhood? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm definitely one of my, my kids, uh, we have two kids. Yeah. So, you know, How they, are they? they're five and eight. Oh. And so they're our primary like taste testers. I was yeah, going to exactly. say, this is ice cream time. That's ice cream time. So these are our crack cookies. This is a saltine. It's very humble origins, but it's very popular. It's okay. a saltine cracker cooked with butter, sugar, and then coated with chocolate. So we're just going to uh, put some of these on top of this sundae. All right. And then uh, we have here is our hot fudge. I can't and wait, so you I'm can, just going to yeah, try. Absolutely. Go ahead. Why not? Yes. You know, and I'll just put I'll some. I'll wait for the fudge. Put some hot fudge on here. Mm. What's it doing to you? That's the marshmallow uh, one you got? 51 or no, the brown shades sugar? of gray. 51 shades <laughs> of goodness. Yeah. Wow. And then some rainbow sprinkles. Mm. Delicious. These are actually organic, all natural food coloring. You said organic or orgasmic? Yeah. Organic. Yes. Oh, both, sorry. Right? <laughs> um, and then some uh, home, of our homemade whipped cream. Mm. Delish. Mm -hmm. And we put that on top. I want to like do this. a macro scoop. Okay. Oh, my goodness. There's a little taste of everything. And then that. what? Is there an end then? Is there no, more? No, no. Then you get to eat it. Okay. <laughs> so. mm. So but um, yeah, minute. we have Let's all these different uh, oh, yeah. flavors and the. Um, oh, I just got the oatmeal cookie. Mm. Isn't that good? Mm -hmm. I know. And so the shop mm. always smells like all cinnamon. these things, and that's, yep, you know, brown sugar and butter. cinnamon, mm. and uh, try that ooey gooey butter cake. So other, oh, yeah, than, other than coming to Gowanus, how yeah. can we get your ice cream? Well, right now it's Gowanus. We have a, our, our flagship shop, our original shop is in uh, Prospect Heights in Brooklyn. Okay. Uh, we also have a waterfront kiosk down at Brooklyn Bridge Park, which is a gorgeous place to be. But uh, hopefully at some point in the near future, by the fall, we'll have pints and stores and things like that. So people won't have to get all the way to Brooklyn. Well, Although I there's am, some good reasons to get to I Brooklyn. I will be there, definitely. <laughs> right. I'm Great taking, stuff. yes. Delicious, Good. right? Mouthful. Who Thank wants you so much <laughs> for being here. Happy Ice Cream Month. That's right. Yay. And you're watching Arise Entertainment 360. You're so jealous. <laughs> <laughs>